Hello there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to take a very quick look at four different solar fire lighters. That is, things that reflect light to a point to set alight a piece of tinder. They're quite specialised things because on a day like this, when the sun isn't out, they're no use whatsoever. But when the sun is out, are they any good? Well, that's why I've got four different ones. I'm going to try all four once the sun comes out and you'll see the results. I'll just quickly run through them just so you can get a closer look at them and I'll give you the prices and the sources of where I got them as well. And that will be repeated in the video description. If you can't see it when you look at the video description just click show more. There'll be loads of links come up there. Now light travels in straight lines so the light travelling from the sun hits this curved reflective dish and instead of bouncing straight back to the sun it's angled to that point. If it lands there it's angled to that point. If it lands there, it's angled to that point. This dish basically angles the sun's beams to that point. It has a, like a, a concentrating effect. You can actually see the light there. You just see it moving up and down the tinder. And that's the rays from the sun being caught in the dish, fired up here. Obviously because the sun is actually behind clouds at the minute, they are not intense enough to light a fire. But as soon as the sun comes out from behind the clouds, those intense beams of sunlight bounce on here. Boom, 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 boom. Millions and millions of them. And it has a similar effect to a magnifying glass. Really concentrating heat here. And that should get the tinder burning very, very fast. Okay, that's the tinder we're going to be using today. This is absolutely bone dry. This is a sort of fungus called cramp ball fungus, also known as Alfred's Cakes. I'll put the Latin name in the video description, so check that out. It grows on ash trees and it's really easy to find in the UK. This takes a spark exceptionally well, but it also is very, very easy to light with a magnifying glass. So it should be easy to light with a solar fire starter. Okay, so number one, Sunspark Solar Fire and Cigarette Lighter. It's got a disc size of approximately 7 centimeters, which is just under 3 inches. Clamshell design, which locks in position. That keeps it well protected. It's actually got a bit of a lack of anywhere to put proper tinder, unless you stuff grass in there. So, yeah. Not quite sure how I'm going to get tinder in that. Next up, Solar Spark Lighter Fire Starter. This is a springy sort of design for the tinder holder or cigarette holder. That means it can be locked out the way there. When you need it, you just spring that out, stuff your tinder in here, angle it to the sun. It's very, very simple, really. It's, this is the, the most basic one of the lot. Simply plastic, it's very highly polished. I mean, it's almost, that is a mirror finish. Look at the trees there. I'm impressed with the finish on that, even though it's just plastic. I'm not sure how long that finish will last, but out of the box, I am impressed. And this one's got a usable disc reflector size of approximately 9 centimeters, So it is bigger than our first one. By far the biggest of these four solar fire lighters is the Sundance Solar Spark Lighter. This isn't as highly polished, although it can be polished up just with your t-shirt to get a little bit more reflectiveness on that. This is all metal, it's got your tinder holder here, which folds away, oh, I quite like the design of that. It's got almost like a two pronged fork there, you can stick tinder on if you've got fungus or something, tinder fungus, or you can pack this area between the spikes with grass or something. That to me looks like it's going to hold a lot of tinder. And the last one on our list is the Tinder Hotbox Solar Fire Starter. The idea behind this is that you can actually store tinder in this box, which has got a rubberized seal to keep it dry. This is beautifully made. It's uh, aluminium and it's got lovely checkering on here so you can get a good grip even in the wet. I really like that design. The one thing I'm not so keen on is the fact that you have to take this little tinder holder off and fix it on there. That's a very rigid design. And you're not going to be able to pack much in there, I don't think. These aren't pointed, so fixing 
fungus to it probably won't be that easy. Um, but it is extremely well made and very, very reflective. And this one's got a usable reflective disc size of approximately 6.5 centimetres, which is about two and a half inches. I think it's time to grade these fellas. I'll do it out of five, so one being not very good, five being very good. And I'll base that on construction, performance, and value. So number one, Sunspark, Solar Fire, and Cigarette Lighter. Construction. I do like the idea of the clamshell design, which protects the disc from getting scratched. It's really just injection moulded plastic, nothing fantastic, but then again, it's quite a cheap item. It's only $3.99. I don't like how the disc can fall out. I think that should have at the very least just had a little dab of glue on the back, which is something that's easily rectified. I'm also not very keen on the idea that it's very difficult to get tinder to, to stay in there because it's basically just a hole. There's no spikes, there's no prongs, there's nothing really to fix tinder to. It's also extremely difficult to angle this one to the sun properly, and I don't know why, because it's really, it's a similar design to the other ones, apart from the fact that this moves. I think just getting that at the right place and angling it, doing two things is way more difficult than doing one thing which those other fellas, you've just got to angle them to the sun. This one, you've got to get this at the right angle and angle it at the sun, which is really difficult. It shouldn't be difficult, but it is. So a construction, I'm thinking a two, a two out of five. I do like the idea how it's protected, but just the usability of it, and that's a consequence of the construction method. It just, that, that knocks points off. So I'm going to say two and a half. I'm going to be generous. Two and a half out of five for construction. Right, this is very difficult to get any sort of tinder to fix up here where the beams are going to be concentrated. So I've, do, I've done a bit of a modification. I've put a little bit of snare wire on there just to hold it in place. Right, there we go. Once it finally gets orientated onto the tinder, it lights it no problem at all. No bother. So that definitely works. Very difficult to actually get it angled correctly so that the beams of energy from the sun end up here. But once they are in the right place, and once the tinder is actually secured so it doesn't keep falling out of this hole, it works very, very well indeed. Performance. It is tricky to get the sun's concentrated rays onto your tinder and it's difficult to get the tinder in the right place and actually get it to stay there. But when you do get it angled, it lights no problem at all. So, performance, I would say four. Four out of five. So value, this is only £3.99. <laughs> That's exceptionally cheap. It is reasonably cheaply constructed, but it works. And £3.99, what can you buy for that? Maybe it's a pint of beer in London? Just, if you go to a cheap pub. £3.99, I would say it's pretty good value for money. Yes, the disc can fall out. Stick a little blob of glue behind that, stick it in, it's never gonna fall out. Yes, it is tricky to get the tinder in, but it works. £3.99, very good value. I would actually give it five out of five for value. 3.99 is nothing. Okay then, scores on the doors for number two, which is the Solar Spark Lighter Fire Starter. Really catchy title, as most of them are, because they were listed on eBay. I think people must just put as many different search terms in as possible. I'm sure that's not its real name, but that's what it's called on the listing. <laughs> Construction. This is all plastic again, apart from the spring and the bit where you put your tab, sorry, your cigarette, in the top or your tinder. I like the idea how that can be folded away, so really just stick that in a little bag and it can go in any rucksack. Very very light, it weighs practically nothing, and this spring seems pretty pretty well fixed in there. i will probably give this a 3 out of 5, there's no real way of protecting that, I did like the clamshell design of that first one. If you had a clamshell design for this fella, that would elevate it a little bit, 
but yeah, three out of five for construction. Oh, straight into it. Very easy to line up. That's going no problem at all. It is slightly tricky to get the... Ooh, that's hot. It is slightly tricky to get the tinder in here, but the spring holds it in very securely. It's very well stuck in there. And also you could pack that out with grass or something. It's, it's pretty good. Performance. Yeah, this seemed to work very, very well. Very easy to angle to the sun because you've got this fixed point here. You're not farting about with any clamshell. And it lit the tinder very, very quick. I would say four out of five. Value, it's only £5.39. So I would class that as a cheap item. It works very, very well. It might not be very impact resistant with it being plastic, but time will tell on that one. So I'd give that a four. Say four out of five. It works well enough. It's pretty well made. Doesn't cost much. Value, four out of five. Okay, scores for Sundance Solar Spark Lighter. Construction, well, it's all made of metal, which I really like, and that's going to withstand the test of time. I like the idea that it's big, it does seem to gather a lot of sun's rays. Construction on this one is very, very good. If this had a clamshell just to protect it, this one would be absolutely awesome. But without that protection, it does have to go in a bag before it goes into your rucksack or into your pocket, so, oh, construction, I can't give it more than three. I just can't, because there is the risk of damage to here. So three out of five for construction. And it pains me to say that, because this works really well. And apart from the fact that this is unprotected, it's really, really good. Yeah, of all of them, this one is the easiest one to line up, because you've got quite a big margin of error here. I think it's because you've got a big disc. The concentrated beam seems to be more intense. Performance. Well, I think it's because this one is the biggest of the lot that it gathers the most energy and it concentrates it to this point. This one is literally like an Archimedes death ray. You angle it to the sun, bang, the tinders are light. It's lightning fast. So performance, quite easily five out of five. No problem at all easily. Value, this one's $9.99 which is more expensive than the first two but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the last one we're gonna have a look at. So I don't, I don't really think anything of spending a tenner on something that's well constructed and works exceptionally well. I'm, I'm struggling between a four and a five because it's solidly constructed, it's made of metal. It performs exceptionally well, but it does cost £9.99. But again, what can you buy for £9.99? Not very much. I'll give it a 4.5 for value. And last but not least, by far the most expensive solar fire starter that we had on test here. And this was the Tinder Hotbox Solar Fire Starter. Mmm, construction is beautiful. And for the most part, it's been really well thought out. It's got a seal, which is going to protect your tinder. Even if your tinder's loose in there, it's going to keep it dry. Your reflecting disc is going to be totally protected. But the one thing that I don't like about this construction is this tinder holder. It pushes on there very, very easily. It fits beautifully, but it comes off very easily as well. And if you're trying to fit a hard bit of tinder fungus, you know, the devil's hoof fungus, on there, chances are you're going to knock that off. And I, oh, that just bugs me. It bugs me to the, oh. I can just imagine being somewhere in a wood where you've got quite a lot of detritus on the ground. This fella drops off. You think, oh man, where's that gone? Step back and it's buried. I'm fearful of losing this little tinder holder. But that said, it did hold the fungus pretty well. I would have preferred it if it was more like a, a flexible spike. That you could push tinder in between the spike or jam it on the top. That would be much better. 
you possibly have to have some sort of clip on the inside of the lid there which you just clipped it into position but that might be something for consideration if anybody that makes these is watching that marks it down other than that if it hadn't been for that I would have given it a five all day for construction no doubt because of that it's a 3.5 I can't give it a five and I can't even give it a four because that fear of losing that little tinder holder is just too great but it feels beautiful now with this one you have to support the back of this tinder holder just to make sure that you don't push it off straight into action and we're getting a decent burn there performance well it wasn't one of the biggest but it's certainly one of the most reflective and I think that seemed to ref reflect that seemed to reflect the performance it worked very very well the beams of energy were concentrated very very well at the point where the tinder was it lit no problem at all performance four and a half out of five so the last thing we're judging this fella on value at nearly 35 English pounds it's a hell of a lot of money and to be honest, I imagine that's probably oh, 20, 25 pounds more than 90% of the people watching this video would be willing to pay for a solar fire lighter. It is exceptionally well made, aside from the fact that you might lose that tinder holder, which is that, 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 that's gnawing away at me, that really bugging me. Take that out of the equation, and it's a beautifully made solar fire starter that will last a lifetime you could literally drop this out of an airplane pick it up and use it it's practically bomb proof that scores it big points in value because you want something that's going to last you want something that's going to take punishment and if this is the only thing that's going to protect a little bit of tinder in a massive rainstorm then it's going to be worth its weight in gold if it keeps you alive Value, I would say four. Some people might think that's quite high considering the cost of it, but because of the construction and the performance and the fact that it can be actually used as a tinderbox as well, I really have to give it a four. Four out of five for value. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and found at least some parts of it useful. In this video, we tested four commonly available solar fire starters and the sources where I bought them from will be in the video description. If you can't see it, just click show more. All of those will come up along with links to any related videos, for instance the video I did on cramp ball fungus, there might be other video links in there as well. Depends what I think is useful when I'm writing the video description. Check that out, there'll be all sorts in there. Thanks very much for watching. I've got quite a few more bushcraft and wildlife videos in the bushcraft and wildlife playlist on my channel so check that out if you've liked what you've seen subscribe and I shall catch you next time thanks again On the subject of starting fires by using the sun, bear in mind that a Swiss army knife, or similar, quite often comes with a little magnifying glass and that can be very very effective in full sunlight. There you go. No problem at all.